Now, a year ago, almost a year ago, there was some controversy set it around one person, one, maybe two per uh, people in particular. And such is the fact that apparently two people's lives have been apparently ruined by such. Uh, fantastic rumors, and I'm here to set the official ru uh, record straight, if you will. That being is that a, a year ago, if no one noticed, the event called The Miraculous Mystery, in which Alia had discovered a recording supposedly by the, the person who was, in fact, Ladybug, saying the classic word sp Tiki spots on and transforming into the superhero of Paris. Now, the problem is, is that while it while people have um, while excuse me Adrian and Marinette have confessed that they are not Ladybug and may, and actually have proof of it, one person decided to say that no, this is wrong and gave out evidence quote unquote evidence to support that person's theory. <laughs> if you ask me, <laughs> I say something's fishy going on here. Now I'm not a big time lawyer, but. When one decides to make accusations of someone being a hero, let alone two people, a baker's daughter and the son of an international mo fashion mogul, one should have proper evidence. And I am here to present with counter evidence of saying that Marinette Dupain Chang and Adrian Agress are not Ladybug and Cat Noir. They are in no way such. The First off, the audio is still up for debate. It is hard to deny that while the uh, the audio in particular was it, was Marinette, it could be that she could be a cosplayer, much like the mayor's da uh, daughter, Chloe Bourgeois, has done in the past. Is there nothing wrong with cosplay? Of course not. But to take, uh, take it at face value and think that it is some sort of, you know, call to arms, <laughs> then I'm sorry, good sir and people of the Lady Blog, but there is no evidence to say that she was in fact putting spots on to go into action. It was probably more along the lines of her playing in costume, and there is nothing wrong with that. Harmless games, nothing more. The other thing is that he, that this Huntsman, as he calls himself, claims to be, claims to have had evidence of photo, uh, photo fit, a uh, photorealistic, excuse me, photorealistic evidence of super of these people turning into superheroes, to which I respond with what evidence? Meaning that the evidence and records and archives he this huntsman claims to have had seem to be nothing more than animated shorts that pros that were nothing more than mere fabrications. Anyone could look at those and go, huh, that's clearly animated. <laughs> and where did you? And even besides, how would you even get? such archival footage from, from the French government. Mmm. Methinks a conspiracy upon these is about. Mmm. Now. Now, now, now. Now we get to the big thing. You know, the big question of what separates La Ladybug from Marinette and proving her innocence and proving that she is not the hero of Paris. In by we look at uh, we look at Marinette, a clumsy average girl who is more awkward, socially awkward, whereas Ladybug is this great confident hero who has boundlessly has boundless accuracy, whereas Marinette is less than dexterous, shall we say? Now, the other point being that we have Adrian Agrest, who <laughs> is surrounded by security, mind you, and constantly under watchful eyes of his father's staff and has his own bodyguard mind you and the only and while he does possess some form of agility that's from his fencing training <laughs> granted sword fighting can do well in a hand-to-hand -hand fight but on the other hand you'd have to take into account that that would take years and years of training of what if, Chat Noir, if he was Chat Noir and how much work and effort that would be put into it mm, you see it's all starting to come apart now huh <laughs> My friends at the lady, my friends and neighbors at the at the lady blog, I would I would suggest d doing your research further into looking into such wild accusations of these poor people before you. They clearly do not have the. <laughs> they clearly just simply do not have the abilities or dexterity or even the skill set to be the great defenders of France. <laughs> If you ask me, 
and you probably are. <laughs> the uh, the whole thing seems a bit preposterous to have a baker's daughter and a fashion designer's son pr protecting Paris. That's like have, saying Bruce Wayne is Batman. <laughs> it's it's a wild accusation. <laughs> and it's completely unfathomed, nor does it have the proper evidence. The, uh, the archival footage, as I said before, was clearly fabricated and animated, mind you, so how can we, the people, determine that this, anima that this animation is true facts? Hmm? And these so-called Kwamis, magical beings? Harumph, I say! Harumph, harumph, harumph. It's nothing more than the superstitious and cowardly lot making up their own agenda, shall we say. Or agenda would be too strong, I guess their own lies. Something along that with big words. So, my friends at the Lady Blog, <laughs> this has all been, this is all, while it has, this entire mix-up has been completely hysterical, let us also not forget that Ladybug and Chat Noir are immortal, apparently. Even Ladybug has said that she's been around since ancient Egypt. Keep that in mind, shall we? Let us keep that in mind. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but Marinette, it, but Miss Dubang Chang and Mr. Agrest are certainly no older than 14. Or a little older, but definitely not a th couple thousand years old. So, good pe so, to the good people of France, and to the world, I give you that while the Huntsman's argument is it does have some validation and it is entertaining at best, I would I would counterpoint with these po with these uh, fact with these actual facts I have given you all. So before we all go running around and saying that oh Marinette Dupeng Chang is Ladybug and Chat Noir is la is is really Adrian Agrest. Let us take a moment to ingest, mentally ingest, mind you, the facts that I have laid out before you. So keep that in mind. And remember, always trust the facts. This is goodbye if you're if you're not aware. <laughs>